shop be sparking and rushing mad like inside the dark. Call me no snatcher, just a brother for the rapture. I hang lines, hold it on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a con and start killing. It's manifesting. The guards work like appliances, dealing in my single life. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another board to Naruto Next Generation discussion. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a topic that still appears to be lingering in the community as the manga appears to be in a transition phase for a time skip now that Code has gotten his limiters removed, only to be forced into hiding. And Amato is heading to Konoha with the cyborg sibling duo of Ada and Damon, as well as his personal shutdown code for Kawaki's powers. Given all of this, people have continued to ask what will be next for Hokage Naruto, in particular the time skip that we're heading into. While a lot of fans have pretty much come to grips with the idea that Boruto's likely going to emerge from the time skip, an absolute monster in power, especially after he trains with Sasuke, there is another question of what happens to Naruto's Hokage. Now, well, in today's video, I wanted to discuss this very topic and give everybody who's still traumatized by Naruto losing the power of the nine tails and that emotional farewell scene between Naruto and Kurama where Naruto's looking up at all the biju, I want to give you guys five ways that Naruto can grow stronger than what he currently is right now and our favorite knuckle-headed Hokage can begin the process of climbing back up the charts in terms of the power levels. That way we don't ever have to see Naruto getting his internal organs stomped out like they were against Ishiki where Ishiki had the audacity to hold this man hostage like his name was Sakura or Hinata, but instead we're gonna watch as Naruto has the potential to potentially climb back up those power charts where if we're being honest right now, Naruto isn't even top five in his village once Ada and Damon arrive in Konoha. Jumping right into it though, here are the five ways that Naruto can grow even stronger than he is currently. We're gonna start off with the Hashirama cell arm that Naruto had made for him by Tsunade in Naruto chapter 699. A lot of people point out that since Naruto has this arm, he should be learning at learning wood release jutsu and given that Yamato is still a Konoha ninja, granted he's looking after Orochi Shimaru, Naruto could still use Yamato to learn more of the wood release jutsu and it'd be a nice reunion between Captain Yamato and Naruto. There are some benefits to Naruto learning wood release. The ability to suppress chakra, absorb chakra via wood release would definitely come in handy especially against somebody like Code who has the power of the karma seal but he can't absorb jutsu which means technically if naruto caught code in a jutsu he'd be able to drain away code's chakra until he was too weak to escape learning a jutsu like the deep forest bloom would allow naruto to produce a forest of trees with pollen that's strong enough to knock out the targets and it's powerful enough that it can eat away at even a susano's defensive capabilities given how simple-minded code is there is the possibility that his willpower won't be strong enough to overcome the effects of his jutsu that's like the perfect jutsu for naruto the idea of naruto combining wood release with the sage mode you got endless possibilities because we saw what happens when hashirama used sage mode and wood release together naruto combining frog kumite with wood release has a fuck ton of potential for being honest here the other route that people say is that naruto should be taking a page out of both of his parents books which is to learn both the flying raijin and the uzumaki ceiling chains the ceiling chains have some benefit and it's actually very similar to what you saw with wood release being able to restrain and being able to stop a person's chakra flow. Naruto will be able to learn those chains if he spent the time with Kari and Uzumaki and given that Naruto inherited Kashina's special chakra which in volume 53 of Naruto it was stated that chakra is rare even amongst members of the Uzumaki clan which is why she herself was chosen to become Kurama's Jinchuriki. The idea of Naruto learning those chakra chains it isn't exactly crazy. The same can be said when it comes to learning the flying Raijin from Genma and the other members of Minato's Hokage Squadron, which for the 100th time, Naruto does not know the Flying Raijin, which I've already addressed all the arguments people make that say, hey, he knows the Jutsu, like he used it in the war, he used it in Naruto Chapter 700, he used it in Naruto Road to the Ninja. My video on why Naruto doesn't know the Flying Raijin, check that out. I broke down all those arguments and broke down the misconception and the translation errors that exist there. However, this is one of the most exciting possibilities that we have here. So Naruto combining Flying Raijin 
Gaijin with Shadow Clones is downright disgusting levels of broken. Imagine fighting Naruto and he's using the flying Raijin to drop a Sage Art giant Rasengan onto you and he's got like 900 Shadow Clones doing the same thing. And if you combine him learning the flying Raijin with Naruto learning some of the sealing jutsu of the Uzumaki clan, Naruto could be a demon on the battlefield if he did go this route. Now the third route that people suggest is the least likely in my opinion, which is Naruto sealing the other seven Biju into his body and training with Killer B again, which as a reminder, Killer B is actually still alive. Do not watch the YouTube clip. Actually go to the episode, watch the episode, Momoshiki absorbs a clone, Killer B cuts off his tentacle and that's how he's able to survive. I've addressed this whole concept of Naruto sealing the Biju into his body earlier in this month in a video and true to fashion, I saw that there were some comments that were cussing me out because you had those people commenting off the thumbnail and not based off of the content of the video, not even taking the time to read the title where the shit clearly says, should Naruto seal the other Biju into his body? And because I blocked a bunch of those comments so the people cussed me out for daring to suggest that Naruto could get stronger than ever before if Naruto sealed all the Biju inside of him, which I literally say in the video, hey, I don't think that that's gonna happen. And I really don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. But you got all the people that I blocked that were attacking me that were too lazy to read the entire title or didn't take the time to actually watch the fucking video before assuming they knew what my stance was gonna be, even though the title has a fucking question mark in it but since they jumped to conclusions and decided to start attacking me that's where i blocked them and told them they can suck my dick sideways and i hope they swallow every drop and choke on it i make it a point specifically to make sure i talk about everything in my title but that being said i'm gonna apologize to those of you guys who had to listen to that rant because over here on our corner youtube we're a chill corner but i had to address that now getting back to this topic i'm not gonna rehash those same points from that video however if you told me there was still some vestige of Karama's chakra inside of him, I'd be more willing to take that argument, especially if he was able to seal some of Killer B's chakra into his body voluntarily, because you don't need the entire Biju chakra in order to get access to Six Pass Senjutsu. You just need enough. Obito was proof of that as a Jubi Jinchuriki because he only had one tentacle of the Eight Tails and he only had a few scraps of the Nine Tails chakra on top of having the other Biju. So if you told me Naruto could meet all those requirements, then yeah, I would definitely take that argument right there then you also have the whole idea that while sasuke trains boruto naruto takes the time to double down on the sage mode training to push himself to an even higher level this one i think is likely because sage mode can increase in power and in duration with training and naruto certainly has the high enough chakra levels to improve upon his sage mode why we're still in 2022 and we still have people who think that sage mode's power level can't go past the pain arc level i'll never understand that's just as bad as somebody saying that Super Saiyan power levels can't go past that of the Namek Saga. The stronger the base, the more benefit that you reap from having a transformed state. I think out of everything suggested so far, as well as in the final comment after this, this is the one I think fans could swallow the easiest because it's a fact that they're already familiar with. You already know about Sage Mode. If you just learned that Naruto spent two and a half years improving his Sage Mode and now he's a little bit stronger or significantly stronger, you totally eat it up because it puts him on a sliding scale. Scale. Finally, we have Naruto being the shining example of what he told Boruto way back at the beginning of the Vessel arc, which is that being someone who combines using various ninja tech that Katasuke created in Konoha and is continuing to create with a model's research and combine that with his own ninjutsu, while it was something that was considered experimental during the tuning exams, it is something that Naruto has been slowly incorporating into the ninja world. We saw that in the new tuning exams where ninja tech was allowed. The idea of Naruto having a fully functional ninja tech arm that absorbs jutsu which is a reminder he only previously had a prototype that was still being worked on that's something of interest right there especially if they find a way to link the absorption capability of naruto's own chakra levels and find a way to fire back the absorbed jutsu between that and the shinobi gauntlet being improved upon you're getting the opportunity to have naruto step back up to the table as somebody who can contribute in a large way that's one way of getting around the situation naruto's in in fact i think that's the most likely between orochimaru creating devices in some of the novels that are able to transfer keke genkai powers that is still in a prototype stage it hasn't been fully functional yet it's been used to do one keke genkai which i'll be covering next month over on the channel which i can already see 
some stupid motherfucker calling that clickbait, even though the fucking source will be shown in the video. Between Amato's own research, if you think Amato's not sus, and between Katoski's own research, there's a lot of ways to use ninja tech in conjunction with your own ninjutsu. However, you guys know my stance on each of these, but I want to know which of these scenarios you guys feel is the most likely. While you consider that, click here to watch my Black Clover chapter review for the latest chapter, or click here to watch this throwback video on the channel that you might not have seen if you're a new subscriber.